Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we talk about uh, the bones uh, which are situated in the head. Okay. There are two types of bones. Uh, the mainly two types they are uh, facial bones and uh, cranial bones. Uh, there are uh, eight cranial bones and fourteen facial bones are there. And then uh, the pair of bones are here. Uh, there are in the cranial side uh, temporal bone and parietal bones are in pairs. And then uh, other side the facial bones in pair. There are uh, nasal bone, lacrimal bone, and inferior nasal concha and maxilla and palatine and zygomatic. There are pair of bones. Okay. In this video, uh, we identify the bones. Uh, how they are situated, located in the skull. Okay. First of all, the bone is under the skull. A small bone i think this is a bone must uh, important for head and neck region first of all uh, we take that bone and what is its name okay okay this is the hyoid bone okay this is the hyoid bone uh, in this video uh, we don't talk about hyoid bone uh, we talk about only scalp okay the front side the bone is located what is named i think its name is uh, frontal bone uh, we can check it yeah it's a frontal bone okay and then the two sides are here this is a anterior side and uh, this is the posterior side so <coughs> there are two uh, pair of bones this is called as parietal bone this is the right parietal bone uh, and then this is left parietal bone and then uh, this is the occipital bone okay this is the occipital bone because it's uh, located in the behind side posterior side okay uh, and then uh, we remove these four bones and uh, see the other bones in the structure if we can't see the bones uh, more clearly okay here also bones are attached with the sutures okay there are uh, sutures are attached the bones uh, between the between the bones okay here this is the temporal bone and here this is the sphoid bone okay sphenoid bone and then this is parietal so uh, first of all we cut off that uh, the parietal bone is removed and then uh, this is the temporal bone so that also removed and then uh, this is the <coughs> this is the sphenoid bone okay the sphenoid bone is a single bone uh, how it is uh, located single uh, you can see here it's the structure penetrate the skull okay this is the sphenoid bone okay you can see the single bone is uh, located to both sides so it is a one bone okay sphenoid bone you can see here the sphenoid bone you can uh, you can see the eye cavity okay mm. we talk uh, there are 10 cranial bones and uh, now we see uh, 1 uh, 2 3 4 5 and 6 and what are the other bones I think they are uh, ethmoid bone and ethmoid bone I think okay ethmoid bone the uh, parietal bone is a right parietal bone here the left parietal bone is here so the seven bone are clear and then we need to find that a single bone which is um, ethmoid bone okay suppose we remove this okay you can see more clearly sphenoid bone it's you can see sphenoid bone okay then there yeah, is ethmoid bone okay uh, then remove the sphenoid bone there are uh, more bones are here i don't know which is ethmoid bone okay uh, we check it okay this is the ethmoid bone okay yeah, we can see it mm. in front side of the phenoid bone that is ethmoid bone this is the uh, phenoid bone okay uh, this is the ethmoid bone okay the total cranial bones are clear uh, 10 cranial bones this is one this is two okay mm. two uh, this is temporal bone uh, uh, two sides bone so uh, one two uh, ten three four mm. frontal bone uh, five and parietal bone are two so seven and then occipital bone okay there are ten occipital bone eight bones okay Now we see about the uh, facial bones, okay. This is the ethmoid bone, you can clear. Now we remove the whole, uh, whole cranial bones and uh, see the facial bone, okay. There are so many bones, so we can we need to identify the bones, okay. The <coughs> downwards, the, uh, the big bone is uh, mandible, okay. This is the mandible. Uh, we keep here to identify the structures, okay. There are, this is maxilla. This is maxilla, this is left side maxilla, and then this is right side maxilla, and this is zygomatic bone, okay, that is uh, right zygomatic bone, this is left zygomatic bone, this is nasal bones, left nasal bone, this is right nasal bone, okay, 
and then in the posterior side what are the bones and the, into the side there are bones you can see this is the warmer okay this is the warmer uh, with the separating wall of the our nose warmer okay and then this is what palatine bone we need to see clearly more clearly this is palatine bone in, into the side uh, we don't see we cannot see in the outside okay that is a palatine bone this is the palatine bone right palatine bone this is the left palatine bone okay this is the warmer and then what are the bones ah this is the maxilla you already see this is the maxilla okay about also two maxilla also two trigonometric bone uh, two nasal bones and then so maxilla trigonometric nasal bone so front side the bones are we identified what are the bones uh, six bones are identified now still now and then this is the uh, big bone uh, we keep it here to identify the other bones okay and then okay totally seven bones and then this is the warmer single bone okay the warmer and the mandible are the single bones you can see mandible this is mandible the mandible and the warmer are the single bones okay other bones are pairs okay this is the palatine bone so this is the left palatine so totally now still now uh, we see totally 10 bones uh, the missed bones are inferior nasal concha varicitis and lacrimal bone the other two uh, bones are missing totally four bones are missing okay after removing these bones we can uh, if they are identified or not we can see okay uh, first of all we remove the uh, <coughs> zygomatic bone okay right zygomatic remove and then right maxilla remove and then there are structures are blooming okay you already see this is the warmer and then this is the palatine bone okay uh, we remove the palatine to remove palatine remove warmer okay and then there are two bones are here the inferior nasal concha you can see this is nasal bone inferior to nasal bone this is inferior nasal concha and then this is the bone here lacrimal bone okay this is the lacrimal bone this is the inferior nasal concha these are left side four so right side here maxilla and then this is the lacrimal bone and then this is the inferior nasal concha so 14 bones are identified in this uh, 3d dissection okay you can see these are the structures mandible so totally uh, in this video uh, we talk about uh, we can see the uh, 22 bones of the uh, head region okay you can identify uh, we can remove other bones also this is mandible also removed and then uh, tooth are removed and then what is maxilla maxilla also removed and then zygomatic bones also removed and then two nasal bones are removed and then lacrimal bone is removed and then inferior nasal concha you can see inferior nasal concha that also removed uh, this is left inferior nasal concha as that's also removed this is inferior nasal concha and then this is lacrimal that's also removed okay i think this video is useful to you how to identify the you can see the bones structures uh, which are bones are to anterior to the head and bones are posterior to the head mm, these are the things uh, we tend to understand uh, if we understand the bone region after that uh, there are the other there are sutures uh, sutures connecting the bones and embryonic period uh, also there are sutures in pre earlier period then after the growth uh, they also disappear but uh, there are some other sutures are still uh, still here to we can see okay next video we see about the uh, muscle segment and what are the important things in the in the, in the cranial section okay what are the important things in the cranial section first of all uh, in this video i simply tell you this is the highest nuchal line okay this is the highest nuchal line and then this is the <coughs> superior local line this is the low uh, this is the lower lower mean inferior local line okay the external or superior protuberance is this side okay this uh, the highest the highest local line joining part is the external occipital protuberance and then the horizontal line is the uh, external occipital crust okay i can see mm, i saw a simple cut next video i will talk about more clearly you can see this is external occipital protuberance this is the highest nuchal line this is the superior nuchal line this is the inferior nuchal line this is the external occipital crust okay thank you